Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi, consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery, and assisted conception at the Homerton University Hospital, London. Today I'm going to talk about a topic which is quite significant. It affects our pregnancy rates. It tells us far more about how the endometrium is affected by its hormonal changes. It challenges us to go and improve our embryology backups, to push our embryologists to freeze excellent quality embryos, preferably at blastocyst stage, and then use the evidence to improve pregnancy rates. What are we talking about? We're talking about the role of progesterone in the luteal phase in a frozen cycle. Now, this is an extremely good study done, published in 2017. And they looked at vitrified blastocyst, where they compared it in three groups. They said, what happens if you give vaginal progesterone, which is endometrium? What happens if you give vaginal progesterone with a certain amount of intramuscular progesterone once in three days? Or you give a completely injectable progesterone. IM progesterone was given 50 milligram per day every day. If you mixed it, you gave one in every third day, you gave 50 milligram of progesterone in oil. All these studies were then conducted and vitrified blastocysts were transferred. Now, when this data was given to analyze, they blinded the person, which means that the person did not know what was in group A, what was in group B, what was in group C. And that's the beauty of this study. So when the study comes back, all you know is the pregnancy rates in group A, group B, and group C. And what does it show? Group A, what, 218 transfers, a biochemical pregnancy of 13%, overall pregnancy loss of 22% and ongoing pregnancy loss of 50%. In group B, 217 transfers, 20% biochemical loss, overall pregnancy loss 29%, ongoing pregnancy 47%. Group C, 210 transfers, 33% percent biochemical loss and see the difference almost a phenomenal increase 48 percent overall pregnancy loss and 31 percent is ongoing pregnancy very different from the other two groups the groups were revealed group c which had the highest biochemical rate the highest pregnancy loss rate plus the lowest ongoing pregnancy rates was a vaginal progesterone only this was terminated. We still do not know whether giving a little bit of injectable progesterone would have helped. That study still continues. What we think may be happening is that when you give injectable progesterone, you may be decreasing uterine contractility. The peripheral metabolites of progesterone may be supporting the endometrium. And there is, it is possible that early pregnancy may affect how, how progesterone is absorbed. Again, if you start looking at all the evidence, you'll start looking at the different levels at, of mid-luteal progesterone where pregnancy rates differ. And those of you have, who come to the Homerton and see us, this is the discussion we are having, is do we look at increasing mid-luteal phase progesterone and there is good evidence across in the world that is slowly coming up that in a frozen cycle we think we know at what level our pregnancy rate of progesterone our pregnancy rates the best that's a completely different talk which i give on the luteal phase in a frozen cycle looking at the parameters looking at the absorption that's something which is worth looking at i Hope that you would continue to spread this page and help it to 
make this branch, one of the most fascinating branches of medicine, more and more interesting. Thank you very much.